The Pixel 7 series is officially launching on the 6th of October, which means we still have a couple of weeks left. In case you forgot, Google gave us our first look at the Pixel 7 series back in May this year, which means almost four months ago. And recently, when the company officially announced the launch date, it also revealed that the Pixel 7 series will be powered by the next generation Tensor chipset, which is named the Tensor G2. The company has not yet shared any details of this chipset, but now we have got a lot of information about the Google Tensor G2 chipset, thanks to a developer who found all the details from the benchmark test of the Pixel 7 Pro on Geekbench. First thing first, the Google Tensor G2 chipset is having the same CPU configuration as the last year's Tensor chip. This means there is an octa-core CPU with two Cortex-X1 cores, two Cortex-A76 cores and four Cortex-A55 cores. So Google is not going to use the latest ARM cores which are there in the latest Qualcomm or MediaTek chipsets. The frequency of some cores is upgraded this time, so the Cortex-X1 goes up to 2.85 GHz, whereas the Cortex-A76 up to 2.35 GHz. Also the Tensor G2 is fabricated on the 4 nanometer process and all of this is the reason why the multi-core score on Geekbench is almost 10% higher than the previous generation. The single core score however remains almost the same as last year. So is this a bad move by Google to not go for the latest ARM cores? Well not entirely. That is because the latest ARM cores focus mainly on the performance and not so much on the power efficiency. So by using the older ARM cores, Google can ensure a perfect balance of the performance and power efficiency. And on top of that, a 4 nanometer process means that there is more thermal headroom and efficiency to run at higher frequencies. So it is also possible that the power usage of this new chipset is much better than the previous generation. Now let's talk about the big upgrade that the Tensor G2 has gotten over the last year's Tensor. The GPU is upgraded from the Mali G78 to the Mali G710. This is the same GPU that is there in the MediaTek Dimensity 9000 chipset. Comparing the Mali G710 to the Mali G78, there is a performance boost of up to 20%, up to 20% better power efficiency and up to 35% better machine learning performance. And because Google runs a majority of its camera pipeline on the GPU, that means the camera performance and processing is definitely going to be much better and faster. The last year's Tensor chipset was already having best-in-class computational photography, so we can just imagine how good the Tensor G2 is with these upgrades. Finally, the Tensor G2 chipset also comes with a new modem, so it is the Samsung's Exynos 5300, which should improve the connectivity because that was one of the issues with the Pixel 6 series. Anyways, are you excited for the Pixel 7 series? Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.